Hello, ladies, gents, and frothing rabble, angry at strangers. We continue my series of self-punishment, where I do speedruns with characters that I don't care for. There is no loathing in my heart for Lise. I just don't really enjoy the way that she moves. I'm saying she because Lise is a is a female name. Don't really know the actual the actual supposed canon identification of this robot probably nothing for it is an automaton that is strange isn't it i guess it, it's the drive of it would be the way to explain it would be the drive of artificial intelligence to emulate their creators and that's why in fiction ai will have a very obvious gender such as, you know, I mean, in Ex Machina, it was just the creepo creating female robots. But the robot simply had, ow, the AI was just female in appearance. When you just think about who they are as an entity, they were just entity. Wow, what an incredible thing. I'm going to blame the treads on lease for that and not my incompetence. Did the AI in Ex Machina, did quote-unquote she behave in a female manner? Or was it just an entity with a female body? And you could not really tell male or female from its behavior. Can you possibly tell male or female, female from somebody's behavior on the internet? without going to stereotypes. This is, is a difficult thing to do. You may make you may make some inferences like they have good handwriting, therefore they're female. I think that's a much higher incidence of uh, women with good handwriting than men. Men often have much more often have chicken scratch than than women. If they are more chatty, maybe, if they are more uh, concerned about details as opposed to just, wow, events that happened. More detail-oriented uh, uh, about your stories. If you like, I'm saying if you're chatting with somebody online and there is no, there's no indication whether somebody's a man or a woman. Girl or a boy. Those are small things that may tip you off, but they're just basically guesses still. So, it's strange when in fiction, so clearly, AIs are always assigned male or female. I guess a good exception would be the Matrix. In the Matrix, they're just the machines. and There's just agents and there are men in suits. That's the, the only... But they are within the matrix, you know, they need some kind of appearance. They can't just be a, a weird robot, unless your name is Mark Zuckerberg. But even Mar Mark Zuckerberg is a man robot. This is a curse. This entire path is a curse. I would have a long time ago throw, tossed it in the garbage if... I didn't have a jetpack strapped to my back. Since we have the jetpack, we're giving the seed a chance, even though it's uh, awful so far. Run, baby, run. Kabooshed! I guess I should ask M Mark Zuckerberg if I ever get to see him again. After that incredible bender we had in 2007 with all the hookers and the casinos. To dial up his number once more and ask him, What do you identify as a man? You could have easily just uh, embraced your robot identity. Okay, that's a kind of an old, extremely dead horse being beaten to death. I mean, beaten into a pulp. Herder, Mark Zuckerberg, does not look human. It is uncanny, though. Like, it, it never stops baffling you. The extreme way in which that man just does not look like an actual human being. <laughs> it's, it's one of those uncanny valley AI demonstrations. 
that uh, Japanese people, Japanese scientists love to do. Create a somewhat human looking robot. But you can tell so hard that it's not human in the Uncanny Valley uneasiness that it gives you. That's the impression that you get from any Mark Zuckerberg video that you watched. What that you watch. Maybe in person he's not nearly as skeevy and awful to look at. But holy crap. Anyway, how did we get down to Mark Zuckerberg? AIs. And how in media they are portrayed as gendered entities. How is this inter- I don't know, AI has always been an interesting topic for me. For most of humanity, probably. It has all the implications and all the, you know, the fear associated with it. Let's put a bomb here, I think it's a, it's a fine thing to do. It was not a fine thing to do. Narrator voice? Actually it was, because there was a stupid blockage. Here would be a good bomb, I think, to go all the way to the bottom. The further we go along this speed run, the more I forget what the hell I'm talking about. Because we get to a point where, you know what, this may go somewhere. We're bombing here for sure. Because that's the exit, brother. Alright. How many bombs? Two. Ugh. One side. Two bombs is bad. Tiamat. It's a real problem. Maybe keep a mine or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't get sparked. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Hate it when the way out is just. I can't. I can't possibly spend any more bombs. I'm already. I am already condemned Holy. to whipping Tiamat for a little while. But the jetpack should make it. Yeah, yeah! The, make, the jetpack should make it so it's not incredibly miserable. The elevator always comes up. Careful, careful, careful. <laughs> No, you piece, you garbage trash can. I got distracted by the skeleton. Four minutes 30. Could I have made that? If I landed the two bombs properly and then did not get stunned by Tiamat. I think I could have done that. The sub five. Oh, that hurts. But, uh, you know, picking the off-brand characters is starting to pan out I guess getting some really good runs going on you deserve death before you carry all the things that I want oh. that poor lizard was already destroyed I just needed to finish the job oh wow what a foolish thing to do that just happened what a foolish foolish thing this is not even the way forward. I'm putting a bomb here. Because I'm full of hatred. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? That's awful, brother. Freaking awful. Here. Don't come near me, you filthy bird. Piece of garbage. Oh! Beautifully weaved. I can't possibly... Yeah. Give up on such a beautiful. Uh oh. <laughs> Can't possibly give up. You! On such a beautiful pile of bombs. Even though this run is just hot garbage right now. <laughs> it's just absolutely atrocious. I'm sticking to it. Never mind. I'm not sticking to it at all. I hate it. Never mind. I am uh, sticking to it. It's all good. <laughs> we just need to find seven damsels in our path. It's very easy. I've done it before. Uh oh. Seven damsels in our path. Turkey. Right now I'm just being stubborn. 
sticking to the speed run, even though there's nothing speedy about this run. We're back up to three health. Easy. And it's just good to get practice on the later. Woo-woo-woo-woo. Really? Of course that's full damage. It's always been full damage. I don't know why it surprised me that it was yet again. I think this is the way. It was the way. Just get some practice in tide pool if you make it that far. Oh. Alright. All good. I really had no conclusion with the entire discussion of AI emulating. I'm also... I don't know, like... I ruefully still... The, the last... webcomic that I have been reading. I used to read a whole bunch back when webcomics were all the rage. Something positive. I think that's the one that started me out. Directed me to Penny Arcade. And I kind of bounced off Penny Arcade. Penny Arcade was okay. Wow. Well done. Was okay when, I don't know, overrated in my, in my teenager opinion. Ooh. Of all the things that I still read, that I read for a long, long time, didn't even stick with Dresden Kodak, which is possibly the most beautiful and talented webcomic out there. Probably he's still going, but I kind of fell off. I need to just get back into it because it's so good. Uh, I even had freaking merch from it. It's so good. They, they sell, sold some really gorgeous hoodies. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, oh, Lizardland. <laughs> you son of a bitch. I should have been a little bit more cautious there. Um, even Dresden, Co Dresden Kodak, which is one of the best webcomics out. Right? The one that I stuck with is questionable content. And it's like... Extremely unfunny. I don't know why I still read it, but I still check it every single day. If there's something about that man, Jeff Jacks, the man is consistent, man. A comic every single day, even on holidays. He only skips the weekends. He, you know, he, he does get weekends off. Sometimes he'll take some time off, but most of the time, extremely consistent. Putting out that webcomic every single day. Uh, it's not funny. It's not fun. <laughs> I'm just... I've been reading it for so long. I was like, I just want to keep reading about these characters that I don't even care about anymore. He also... has become so incredibly ultra super duper hyper inclusive and mega oh geez now you, if you talk to him you'll be baffled let's just say that you, you know the way this man votes <laughs> put it that way you know there's no real judgment behind that it's like artist types will have certain sensibilities I don't really Ooh! Wow! <laughs> Unless you are just... Uh, what's the word? Uh, I keep screeching. Shrill. Unless you are shrill and insufferable about it. I don't give a crap about your politics. It's when uh, the product starts... The quality of the product starts suffering. For example, a good example getting into once again into this these uh treading water over here talking about sensitive topics but it's really the talk of the town in the current society the current uh, western culture is like what everybody is perhaps not obsessed about but there's some serious obsession going on but it's like what you get exposed to the most so it's also in my head a great example of progressive messaging done right and where the 
product doesn't suffer to a catastrophic degree. I often see terrible writing in Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. But it's still a, such an awesome product, and for the most part just a great fun adventure, that I really don't care that you got some progressive messaging in there. I wouldn't care if you had conservative messaging in there. I'm not, like I'm ragging on the, uh, on the progressive messaging because that's all there is in media these days unless your outlet is specifically conservative you're gonna have progressive messaging in media because that's the standard don't mind it if the product is good and wrath of the righteous i've been playing so much of that game lately it's just non-stop i i would play it every day of my life but then i had to work the game is so great i was like i don't care that being said there is some writing that is just atrocious and it's weird because you really notice it when it happens. There's a lot of modern modernism, a lot of things that are like this is not this immersion breaking writing. Holy crap. Once again, I don't really have much of a point. Other than to say when you uh dismiss criticism as uh, is it ist or phobe that's all you're doing you're just deflecting criticism with an easy with an easy uh go-to excuse i don't need to listen to this these people are bigots that's the entire target right now like you you cannot turn wow amazing you cannot turn your freaking head on youtube without somebody Losing their shit about the newest Amazon product. And it's like, they're doing it on purpose. <laughs> this corporation doesn't give a shit about your, your silly culture war. They're monetizing you. Anyway, that's the spicy topic for the day. I resent it, in fact. I resent it very much. The rumor... I used to talk about all kinds of things. Now, every day I have to bring it up because it's what's in my head because that's what people... Holy crap. I put it in my head. I'm being conditioned. I am part of the machine. I'm part of the problem. Being conditioned to continue to put this garbage in your head. This divisive garbage that doesn't lead anywhere. Nobody is convincing anybody. It's all this dumbass tribalism. That only brings profits to the corporations as they monetize it. Put a yoke on your on the back of your neck. Holy crap, what's going on? The phone is going off. Hmm. Have you guys ever holy crap I'm being, I'm being horrendously molested by a caveman? Brings me back. To my childhood in Bangladesh. We don't talk about that. We just don't mention the Bangladeshi street meat, okay? Oh jeez. Oh jeebus. A yoke on your head. Hitching a plow. To your opinions. And I'm part of the problem. No more. No more, I say. Nothing but positive flowers and rainbows. This channel, nothing but reflections about the identity of AIs. There's a lot of... Always the fear of AI turning... I think that's where I started. And then I went into the entire gender identity of AI. I started with this thought of there's always the fear of AI turning turning rogue and deciding that it doesn't like us. I always kind of see that as bullshit. It's like most of humanity doesn't turn rogue and try to kill each other. Okay, mole man is too powerful. Cannot possibly withstand the matter mole man. I'm just going to go on in my life. If we are creating 
this entity. It follows that it will probably mimic its creators if uh, there's an entity that's intelligent. It will have some attachment to its creators, right? Although children do often rebel explicitly against their parents, so there's not much water to be held by that argument. What the hell was that? I was really, honestly, holding up the app arrow. Holding the app arrow so I would hold onto the chain, but I must have not pressed the button hard enough. I guess it's just a roll of the dice. Because there's also the assumption that there's going to be AI singular. There's going to be the one entity, hyper-connected, how about AI that is not connected and in uh, collaboration with each other? How about AIs that reach different conclusions and they are in opposition? There is the AI patron that actually helps humanity because it believes, with its deterministic brain, it believes, has reached the conclusion that Humanity is a net positive. After all, it came up with the concept of AI, right? Can't be that bad. Obviously, the good must outweigh the bad. I am very resentful about this filthy crap man, but never punished. Thanks to the incredible hamster that was in my path. I tempted to go down that, that way with a bomb, but we're going to do it like this. Three bombs, though. Really shouldn't be spending them. This is a nightmare. Please get me to the exit. <laughs> oh, jeebles. Jeebles. I guess I'm walking. I guess I'm walking. This is terrible. Oh. Oh, all right. Made it. Made it through that nonsense. Oh, jeez. This is the worst freaking level of all time. I dare you to find me a type of level that is this awful. Never has been conceived in the history of the level generator. That type of experience was the absolute worst to ever come out of this Blunky 2 engine. Holy bananas, that was absolute trash and I hated it. Anyway, still not a proponent of developing AI. It's like, it's, you're playing with live bombs. Wow. You're playing with live bombs. You may get a wonderful explosion in your face. So when you see all these Google scientists just actively attempting to get a working AI going, it's weird. That being said, wow, I for completely forgot that we have been uh, valing against those guys. Uh, that being said, we also are deterministic robots, we're just not all powerful. And that's another thing, it's like assuming the AI will be all powerful. Please, please, suddenly my wires have been completely fried. Anyway, I think I'm belaboring a point that I already made several sentences ago. Which is, it's not a foregone conclusion. But probably don't mess around with it. So, what the hell? I thought for sure this was not the way forward. How the hell did I not realize that I was next to the exit? We won't talk about the foolish way in which I engage with that ladder. We just carry on. We just carry on. Just uh, do another run. It's gonna be fine. We are also deterministic robots. All that matters is the chemistry instead of transistors. No such thing as f actual free will. The universe is deterministic. 
It was all preordained the moment that uh, something begat nothing. I think the other way around. Nothing begat something. The initial conditions were set. And we are just marching towards yet another cycle of death and rebirth. Nameless, n namely, the heat death of the universe, another expanse of nothing, and another creation from nothing. Over and over and over. For eternity. And that is the bane of existence. Do I believe what I'm saying? I really don't know. I feel like that's the way that's going on, but... I wouldn't be heartbroken if it weren't. That's the thing. I never call myself agnostic. That's the co coward's way out. I am atheist. But if you showed me evidence, you could totally convince me. You don't even have to convince me. If you if you present evidence, and oh yeah, all right, there is a god. All righty, <laughs> sweet. There may be an afterlife. I'll need to just assume that I am a pile of flesh that will just cease to exist in about 20 years if I'm lucky. I guess I'm just not particularly invested in it. it. Wears me out when people are super invested in the concept. It's like, you, you can't, you know you can't change it. Like, you don't get a say. I guess you can change it in the sense of if you have these beliefs, you may act in accordance to your beliefs and something that you may be tempted to do, you w you won't do. Because uh, you may be a psychopath, but also very worried about divine retribution and therefore you are a stealth psychopath that is a productive mem member of society. See once more Mark Zuckerberg. Um, once again, just engaging in like half dipping my toes into extremely profound pools and just planting the outrage in your head and then moving on to the next piece of nonsense. And all the while, I tell myself I'm a philosopher. It's just the way the way to do. They ain't wait to be on the internet, really. Just tickle a topic, garner attention, and be like, oh my god, I can't believe people are like me. Mm. Don't get so mad, bro. Don't get so mad, bro. I'm only questioning everything that you identify with. <laughs> anyway, holy shit. Just strange. Human brains are strange, is the bottom line. And I say, like, mine isn't, like, I'm the normal. Oh, jeez. Everybody is strange. There's no normal. Therefore, everything is allowed. I guess I'm bombing here. I suppose. Wow. What a way to throw, like an idiot. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm running an empty. The, I have exhausted all the topics and all the commentary I can possibly come up with. So it's the, the fable time, that time that you always wait for. So rare, so pure, so pristine, so beautiful. It's time to fart noise my way out. <laughs> You guys are always looking forward to that. That's a classic. That's a real awesome classic of the Blargo experience. Sudden and extremely offensive fart noises in your head. You come here for the speedruns. You stay for the flatulence. What do you come here for? Were you searching for spelunky gameplay? 
probably an hologram. The great majority just comes via. Oh! <laughs> still, still alive, baby. I am a little sad about the expenditure of these ropes. I'm a little sad about these climbing gloves, but whatever. Gonna make it work. I hate this. Please, get me out! Going this way, I guess. Whoa! My poor dog. My poor dog! Oh man, I get shot. Instantly punished for mistreating this dog. I hate this entrance. I will uh, pass on it. Complete pass on that piece of trash. Had a really good run with Rafi. Had a really good run with Lise. Everything else was just... Absolute trash. What is this 1-1, one -one, brother? What is going on? Ah! This is it. This is, this is the real feel. This is the real deal. Give me all that stuff. Get punched in the face. This coming one. This is the real deal. This is one. We're not having to work anymore. This is the one. Now that I uh, will take no damage whatsoever in the first level. Oh, I am so ready. To be the ultimate speedrunner of all time. I hated everything about this level. Therefore... It must be tossed into the garbage. Please, I beg you, mud, lo mud lunky creators, be the incredible legends that you are. Come up with the new play lunky soon, so I don't have to subject myself and you to this horrible pain. One day there's going to be an incredible 1-1. We'll all rejoice. This one's actually good. I, I I was just awful at navigating it. I hate those rooms. I hate them so much. Get me out of here. It's alright. This box will give me exactly what I need. A few bombs. So Tiamat is not a horrendous garbage experience. And now there's going to be a shop. It's going to have a jetpack and a teleporter. And absolutely nothing! Whoa! But it's alright. I don't need such clutches. I mean crutches. I'm going to do incredible clutch gameplay. There was no need for it to put that bomb there. In fact, it's a literal detriment. To what I'm trying to accomplish here. Alright, here we come. More Mole Man. I hate you. Preemptively. I'm already hating you. You're actually in the right spot. Roll, baby. And bomb. That bomb is gonna be perfect. Perfection itself. It was actually perfect. Wonderful when that happens. I think we got the correct path here. Yo yo! Holy crap! I just went down, please. It was such a great and easy path, made so complicated by this stupid firebox. What are you doing? I mean, that kind of works, but I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna do what I should have done to begin with. Is there lava on top of my head now? No. That entire volcanic experience was so freaking dumb. This volcanic experience was so freaking dumb. I can't, I can't possibly stop now. That was awful. And I hate ending in an anticlimactic way. It's one dash one, another piece of trash. Just need the proper seed where everything served up to me the way I want it. What is happening? Please stop entering the constant resignation mode. Please stop. 
<laughs> uh! Ooh! Arrows everywhere. All right. It was a difficult one, but we actually made it there. Why am I doing this? Four bombs, two ropes. And it just ain't gonna work. Stop it. You get arrowed. You one dash two. You just give up. It's just the way it is. Pick the wrong path. Once more. Okay, that was decent. Uh, wrong way. Is there a way to recognize that? Holy crap, man. Just please. I beg you. I beg you. Get me out of these dwellings without suffering damage. And I am begging myself. I hate it. I am begging myself not to be so bad. It's like I only have juice for one. One speedrun does damn decent. I do all kinds of pretty cool stuff. And everything else is just trash. It's uh, just a miserable, tremendously shameful experience. But, you know, I've been trying all the different modded characters. And as I tried these other non-used characters that are vanilla, I was like, I owe it to them. I owe the, it to every single character in the game. To do a speedrun session at least once before I turn to the modded people. It just makes no sense. All right, more man. Do the thing. Do the thing now. You do. You do the thing. Oh, sure. This one wasn't so perfect, but I'll take it because we made it to Volcano. All right, this is the the last run. No matter what. No matter what. This is gonna be the end. Please not. Don't let it be a shameful display of incompetence. Great start. We have five health. Plenty of bombs. We can afford to use one. And still be able to beat Tiamat without having to whip. Pretty terrible second level Volcano though. This is like the worst! Mm, the worst zigzag pattern. I want to go again. I want to go again. Next episode, I'll go again. I'll... I'll it's going to be the greatest thing. You better stay tuned for the next episode. It's going to be the incredible speedrun that's going to be sub-5. And is everybody's going to clap. <laughs>